Well, in this video, I want to um, do some gamma drumming, uh, get your brain in and, and activate gamma activity. Uh, last week or a couple weeks ago, I did a video where I showed you that listening to complex, unpredictable rhythms at a fairly fast tempo can activate gamma in the listener's brain. And I'm going to do that this week. Um, basically, I'm going to be playing about nine beats per second, which is uh, kind of the low, lower end of the alpha state of consciousness. And that's really not that important. Um, we're not going to necessarily entrain the brain. If you've seen any of my EEG videos, you're going to see that there's, there's entrainment, which is the synchronization of the tempo of the drumming to, to your brain or your brain to the drumming. And we can, we can basically get your brain to to, uh, as a whole, synchronize to that, and that's called brainwave entrainment. Um, and then there's stimulation, which is about deciphering patterns. It's about being able to figure out what's going on, the intricacies of the rhythms. And that's gamma activity. Gamma activity exists between about 30 and 100 hertz, way too fast to be able to do entrainment. Entrainment, even at 8 beats per second, is pretty quick. It's 120 beats per minute, if you've got the metronome playing quarter notes and you're playing 16th notes. That's about March tempo. Um, the highest end of alpha, about 12 beats per second, is 180 beats per minute. If you've got a quarter note at that tempo and you're playing 16th notes, so you're playing four drumming beats to each click of the metronome, that's really pretty quick. You can't do 30. That would be just way too fast. It's, it becomes unmusical at that point. So how do you how do you get uh, gamma activity going in the brain? Well, you give the brain something unpredictable, something that it can't decipher. The brain will try to decipher it, and in the process of doing that, we see this high level of brain activity. And if you want to see that video, I have a link below this one, so you can kind of see what that looks like. I'd like you in this video to see what it feels like. So I'm going to play for you about nine beats per second. I'm going to play very complex rhythms, and I'm not going to be playing in 4-4 time. You won't be able to tap your foot to it. It's going to be very chaotic, but your brain is going to be working to try and figure it out. Don't listen too closely. If you listen closely, it'll become annoying because you are trying to intellectualize what's happening. Allow your brain in the background to be working on the problem while you're doing something else. Ideally, turn it down to fairly low volume, sit down and work on something that requires you to have to think through things, that requires you to have to figure things out. So um, I'm going to play for a little while, nine beats per second, unpredictable rhythms, and I hope you enjoy this. Thank you. 